Okay, so without further ado, let's basically get these bootleg CDs. Yeah. I have stack of stack of bootlegs, yes. These are all of my bootleg CDs I actually burned. And for some reason I, I, I usually try not to uh steal copies of basically of other of their of artists uh, albums, but usually people do that every other day. I mean we I mean now we have, uh, what should we call it, MP3 players, you know, like iPods and all that stuff. But personally, I love CDs, personally, and I like to have, you know, collection of CDs, personally. And these are just basically just all bootleg, personally. So basically, we can start off first with another again. Fergie's How to Save a Life, if I can see it. Ferg, the Bird, How to Save a Life, bootleg, pretty cool. We have, this is a little mixed CD of different type of uh, songs. If I can get a little closer for you guys. I have made mixed CDs originally, but uh, I, made, I think I made three uh, three of them originally. This is um, Volume 1, Volume 2 of my mixed CD. Uh, <laughs> this is actually a pretty mixed bag uh, mixed CD that I made. It's a bunch of basically porn star songs I actually found recently in certain websites. Yeah. Crazy. This is basically a listener thinks of a bunch of uh, artists just write about uh, porn. Yeah, I know that's I know that's me me being one having something like this, but I mean those are songs that are pretty interesting, like for instance, uh what was it? I can't really top it, but like I said, they just there's some songs like I want to set you up. If you probably can't see it, put it down. <laughs> yeah, a little mixed bag of uh, CDs, mixed bag of uh, songs. I mean, <laughs> then we have some oldies music, old school songs. Um, I can't really name the top of my head for shit, but there's some old schools from the night from the 1960s, uh, 50s. Not I me, mean, 1950s, 60s, 70s, and probably the mid 80s and 90s. So you're not really missing much. Then we have uh, John Leadership Involvement Invo 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 I think you know involve yeah involving pretty well awesome uh, mix city that I like. Then we have Neo, uh, the Year of the Gentleman, and a nice bluish CD which I love, which is because like I said, I usually try to colorize my uh, CDs, which is basically my Get bored for today sometimes. And we have Ryan Leeson or Ryan Leeson. <laughs> both same both same names. You just have the artist and you have the title. So pretty cool. Then we have well I was mentioning when to get this recently the original album, but I started getting this say with like Richard to make for myself. We have Eminem's Marshall Man Marshall LP. It's just a bootleg. Like, not the original song, not the original album, just bootleg. Like. I especially hate the song King Richard because that is a very well tortured song, Richard. If you are, are if you are an Eminem fan and you really enjoy listening to his uh, music, that's fine, whatever. But that song uh, on the Marshmallows MP, Kim, it is so brutal. I mean, and I'll be right back. <sighs> Okay, I'm back. Sorry I took so long, Richard. I just had to talk to my mother. Anyway, we, so let's move right along. We have Into the Woods, the soundtrack. And this is actually the uh, the Broadway play version of the soundtrack itself. So you're basically not missing much, Richard, anyway. Um, this is just essentially just a bootleg, once again. When I when I first listened to it, I was kind of key on originally wanting to get the play on DVD. 
because I know it's been available on DVD, and I know I'll probably eventually come and find it if I, if I can. But um, this actually this the soundtrack of the play itself. So, yeah, pretty cool. <coughs> we have next up. We have Out of My House, the soundtrack. Awesome, great song. Great, I mean, awesome, great album soundtrack with different kinds of music. I'm not really big fans of the movie itself, but I I enjoy it. And I enjoyed the music itself, Richard, because there's so much mix of uh, songs that I personally enjoy, Richard, and I uh, recommend Richard for anyone who can find the Richard album and actually really just, uh, I don't know, really enjoy it. So, yeah, I don't know how to soundtrack. Awesome. It has, it has really well good music, music, anyway, by the way. Okay, <laughs> let's basically do another soundtrack. Okay, we can try to do something like this, yeah. I'll try this. We have Space Jam. Yep. Space Jam, the soundtrack. Because I can, I guess I can help you with it. You guys with it properly. There we go. Space Jam, the soundtrack. Yeah, awesome, good song. Also good app. Uh, I don't know why I said song was before. I just, I just have so much of it. I need proper speaking. We have different kinds of music based on this soundtrack. So, well, where's it written? Never recommend. I used to have this on audio cassette originally, by the way, but I actually sold it and actually really want the uh, soundtrack. But it was pretty much so out in certain uh, Denton um, stores in my area. So if I can find it originally, I could probably find it. But I like to have a copy just in case for if I want to listen to it. So it has very well good music, especially I believe I'm quite by R. Kelly. I mean, I know a lot of people don't listen to R. Kelly that much, but Personally, I, I enjoy it because, you know, from that song, I believe before I Could Fly was pretty well good written. So, yeah. Tell me if you've been wrong, but I personally enjoy it originally. Okay, let's basically do this nice and straight. Like that. There we go. I look more popular than that, does it? Uh, let's try. I want to make sure to keep these scenes together, which I actually keep them in nice and order. So these three will be nice in order, like so. Okay. Okay. Then we have a just a mix of CD of Pokemon uh, songs from basically from the sound from different type of soundtrack, from the theme songs and all that stuff. It's just a bunch of mix of basically the songs I actually um, burned on a singular disc, which like so. You're not really so I'm not so you're not really missing much. You just basically just say. Samples are based on different kind of uh, mixed bag of uh, Pokemon soundtrack, Pokemon music, and some of the music are based on available in certain soundtracks. So definitely worth basically that. Uh, I will try to uh, own if I can basically find some of the Pokemon CDs, which if I can find. Them. Then I know everybody really everybody know about the the movie itself. We have three versions. Of uh, Back to the Future. So we have Back to the Future 1, Back to the Future 2, Part 2, and Back to the Future Part 3. All of these are in corner, actually, nice and organized, and all which are contained which are in the soundtrack itself, so you're really not missing much. So let me show you. Sorry about my handwriting. Yeah, bad handwriting. Right. That's part. So this is Part 1, this is Part 2, and Part 3. So not really. People, think, um, you're probably going to write your comments and say, hey, why don't you just buy the, the official albums? And actually, hopefully, you can save that much money. Which, well, yeah, that's true. I can, I can basically do that. But, A, I might really have much money. Which, and, and they, you, know, you know how CDs are cost nowadays? They really just basically are, they are, they, they used to be like 20, they used to be at least about 10 or 12 bucks. So, why not I can make it as a bootleg, as a copy, and then hopefully, if I have extra money, I could probably get the album and stuff. But, you know, I like to save money, Richard Frank. And that's what I like about it. So, what's the harm, Richard? I know people are going to say, well, why are you always thinking that, um, um, that CDs are always our main traditions to continue? People are always using MP3 players and using iPods. So, yeah, I get the whole point about the iPods. I, I have my, like, if I wanted to listen to music on my iPod, let me get it for you. Or facing any kind of mobile phone. I have my own iPod, so what the fuck has that got to do with it? I get the whole point that, you know, 
the music industry is basically going with MP3s and uh, all these digital devices, that's fine. But I like having CDs in my collection because A, I became a, not just basically in, as a movie buff or a TV show, but I also became a music buff because I like to have, you know, uh, CDs that have great artwork maybe good some of the music if I can if I can enjoy it with and you know whatever what it is this is pretty well awesome for my collection so what's the harm doing that I mean yeah when you compare something like this I mean come on it's just basically just a bunch of samples of, of, of music you're putting storage onto a, a device so what's the harm of that so enough about that enough of that let's continue on with the CDs <coughs> we have two uh, this of uh, the Rent soundtrack, not the uh, play version or basically the movie. Just well, yeah, of course the movie. Uh, this is basically two separate discs of the soundtrack, and um, I have to say there's some pretty well good some music which I have to reference. But uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So we have this one and this two. So they're both kind of things. So awesome, awesome, awesome. <clears throat> Let me give myself some water. I'm losing my voice right now, guys, so. <clears throat> I'm just basically trying to congratulate my voice for a little bit more. <clears throat> Alright, next up, we have Boot Loose, the soundtrack. The best of Pon, the best of the Pon, Pon, Ponto, I don't even know how you pronounce it, Ponto, uh, so, uh, best of, of best of them, what do you call it? The best of Pondro, the Pontums, Possums, I can't I can't even pronounce the name or name right, but you know what I mean. The best of the of those guys. Then we have Kelly Kelly Osborne. Shut up! Uh this is actually a pretty well awesome bootleg which I had to um burn recently because I was very young keen on listening to her album and it's actually far good recently. Some of her songs are pretty well good. So, if you can find it recently in your local area, store a uh, local uh, music area, you can probably listen to her because you know she has pretty well uh, two or three songs which they answer are pretty well good. So yeah, that Kelly Osbourne, shut up. So yeah, especially the song which is shut up is pretty well good. <laughs> then we have another Neo uh, uh, bootleg. Uh, because of you, it's actually it's actually recalled uh, my words, but it's actually because it's because of you. So they got so they got a kind of little different reasoning than the album. So, but whatever, it's basically what it is. It's in a nice, it's in a nice uh, purple disc, which is I love. See, I kind of like like to mix uh, colors of based of different type of um, CDs. So, bear with mine, Richly. There you go. Ta-da! Okay, this is actually a mixed CD of Harry and the Potters. This is actually a nice uh, bootleg which I actually made. Um, they just like mixed songs with different types of uh, albums that it's put out originally and from diff different kinds of artists. Like you have uh, the Malfoy group, the uh, Harry and the Potter group, and whatnot and everything. So, not really missing much. Definitely, it's pretty well mix bag C D which I just put out and I have to say for what is what I've been listening to it's pretty good recently. I do like the fact that they actually take the uh the part take the Harry Potter characters to a funny moment of the song which I, when I was listening to this, um I was never kinda of keen on the group. But as a part as a Harry Potter fan as a Harry Potter fan, I enjoy it recently. I think it's pretty well good recently. If you know, if you like Harry Potter Definitely want to listen to Harry and the Potters. So, yeah, awesome mix CD. Very cool. <coughs> okay, next up we have the best of uh, Vance of uh, Bunny of uh, Vance and Bell. I can't even pronounce these, uh, these artists or saying much, but you know what I mean. Really nice mix of, of basically the best of, uh, of their CD, of their, of their music. For instance, uh, Satisfaction. Uh, there's been other sort of music, you know, sexing up, whatever you call it. But yeah, awesome good mix CD for if you're a fan of uh, Benny's 
Bland, bam, please, bam, please, if I you can be able to call it. Pretty well mix of good city, which is for different type of music, different type of songs they put in, and the best stuff of them. They always put that stuff, which is, I always kind of find odd for, it, for artists to do kind of like the best of their songs. It's like, okay, you know, you got fans to really enjoy um, different type of mu different type of songs that the artists were putting on that um, best of album. And they don't usually try to put all the songs in one order, but they usually do in some in some way, shape, or form. But you know, for what it's worth, it's pretty obvious that they try to do that. But anyway, let's move right on. We have AC AC the Black Ice album, which I love. Pretty cool. We have Eddie Great, nice exclusive of. Uh, 70s music. I do like the song Rock the Boat, which is and let you, I do like the song uh, Let Your Company, whatever you call it, which is, well, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, I love that song, which because it's pretty well, uh, pretty well hippie, 70 uh, music background on the song. Pretty cool. Then we have OK Go of the OK Go of the Blue, uh, which is it? Color of the Sky. Pretty cool music. I do enjoy their music, especially uh, Here It Goes Again, which I, I definitely will probably pick up which is the original album. This is actually just a, I just basically got from copy, which I just made for myself. So, yeah, pretty cool. So, like that. <coughs> then we have the blues, Travel Forth. Definitely awesome rock and roll, country, and a little bit of jazz uh, group. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Pretty well going to be good music, which is back in, um, back in the 90s, which is, so I definitely enjoy them. Pretty cool. We have one retreat, The Dream of Out of Land. The best of Madonna's music. This is called Madonna. I should basically call it the best which is Madonna, but you know, Madonna's mixed music, mix CD, mix uh, songs from different uh, albums. Like I'm a Virgin from the very first, like the Virgin uh, song, and the rest of the rest of Shusha Bang. Uh, we have Henry Lewis and what you call it, the news of the heart and of the heart and rock of heart of rock and roll. Pretty well mix the best of them. It's all basically based on their album version. Like you have Back in Time, which is on the um, the Back to the Future uh, album uh, soundtrack. Then you have well, um, Work for a Living, which I love that song. Which I love that. I love that song, Richard, very much. Work for a Living. And then finally, this is the final song. I'm glad you this is. We have Fergie and Fergie Camp. The score, so awesome bag of nice and good mixed music. So that clues up end of my CD review. Let me basically put all these together in one package, and I got the other CDs. I'll be right back and let you put them in a nice fun order. And that's it, my entire music collection. Of CD, well, let's say, what should I say? And that is my tire of CD collection. This is basically just just half of it, my CD collection. Like I said before, I will come across getting more CDs like I can. Which, like I say, with the with CDs going price for probably cheaper, I know I could probably find the cheaper shit. But there will be plenty more of CDs of this to come which in my videos. So yeah. Definitely awesome bag of mixed CDs. Like I said before, I did. I'm doing this for. I did these. Blah, 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 blah. I'm very happy to actually have uh, some of my CDs in my collection, and I will eventually come around to get a couple more. And for what the year's time, I'm pretty sure we'll do, continue doing that. So that ends up with my CD collection, and next up we'll probably do more more DVD updates or whatever, it should be CDs or be DVDs, so yeah, I'm still working on my DVD collection, back over here, you probably can't see it, and I will eventually come around to get a couple more, 
And over the years time, I'm pretty sure we'll do, keep doing that. So, that ends up with my CD collection. And next up, we'll probably do more. More DVD updates or whatever. It should be CDs or be DVDs. So, yeah, I'm still working on my DVD collection. Back over here, if you probably can't see it. It's growing, it's growing, it's growing, but, but, you know, it's, it's gone around. It's gone through the loop around. So, that's pretty much ends of that. And hopefully we'll continue more stuff for things. Alrighty. So that ends for me for you for now. Until next time, this is Air Prime, and thank you for watching. And sayonara. We have, well, I was mentioning when I get this recently, the original album, but I started getting this a bootleg version to make for myself. We have... M&M's, Macho Man, LP, it's just a bootleg, not the original song, not the original album, just a bootleg. I especially hate the song King Richard because that is a very well tortured song, Richard. If you are, or if you are an Eminem fan and you really enjoy listening to his uh, music, that's fine, whatever. But that song uh, on the Macho MP, Kim, it is so brutal. I mean... And I'll be right back. Well, okay, I'm back. Sorry, it took so long. I just had to talk to my mother. Anyway, we, so let's move right along. We have Into the Woods, the soundtrack. And this is actually the uh, the Broadway play version of the soundtrack itself. So you're basically not missing much, which is anyway. Um, this is just essentially just a bootleg, once again. When I when I first listened to it, I was kind of key on originally wanting to get the play on DVD. Because I know it's been available on DVD, and I know I'll probably eventually come and find it if I, if I can. But um, this actually this the soundtrack of the play itself. So, yeah, pretty cool. <coughs> we have next up. We have Out of My House, the soundtrack. Awesome, great song. Great, I mean, awesome, great album soundtrack with different kinds of music. I'm not really big fans of the movie itself, but I I enjoy it. And I enjoyed the music itself, Richard, because there's so much mix of songs that I personally enjoyed, Richard, and I recommend Richard for anyone who can find the original album and actually really just, uh, I don't know, really enjoy it. So, yeah, I don't know how to sound right. Awesome. It has, it has really well good music, guys. anyway, by the way. Okay, let's basically do another soundtrack. Okay, we can try to do something like this, yeah. I'll try this. We have Space Jam. Yep. Space Jam, the soundtrack. I guess I can. I guess I'm gonna have to do for you guys with it properly. There we go. Space Jam, the soundtrack. Yeah, awesome good song. Also good app. Uh, I don't know why I said song was before. I just, I just have so much. I mean, I need proper speaking. We have different kinds of music based on this soundtrack. So, well, where's it written? Never recommend. I used to have this on audio because like I want to set you up if you probably can't see it. Put it down like that. <laughs> yeah, a little mixed bag of uh, CDs. Mixed bags of uh, songs, I mean. <laughs> then we have some oldies music, old school songs. Um, I can't really name the top of my head for shit, but there's some old schools from the night from the nineteen sixties, uh fifties not I mean nineteen 50s, 60s, 70s, and probably mid 80s and 90s. So you're not really missing much. Then we have uh, John Leadership Involvement. Invol invo 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 I think, you know, involved. Yeah. Involving. Pretty well awesome uh, mix city that I like. Then we have Neo, uh, The Year of the Gentleman, and a nice bluish CD. Which I love, which is because, like I said, I usually try to colorize my uh, CDs, which is basically when I get bored, which is sometimes. And we have Ryan Leeson or Ryan Leeson. <laughs> both same, both same names. You just have the artist and you have the title. So pretty cool. Then we, you know, collection of CDs, which is, and these are just basically just all bootlegs, which is, So basically, we can start off first with another pen. Fergie's How to Save a Life, you probably can see it. Ferg, the bird, How to Save a Life, Blue Pretty cool. 
we have this is a little mix CD of different type of uh, songs. If I can get a little closer for you guys, I have made mix CDs originally. But, uh, I, made, I think I made three uh, three of them originally. This is um, volume one, volume two of my mix CD. Uh, <laughs> this is actually a pretty mixed bag uh, mix CD which I made. It's a bunch of basically porn star songs I actually found which they in certain websites. Yeah. Crazy. This is basically a listener thinks of a bunch of uh, artists just write about uh, porn. Yeah, I know that's I know that's me me being one having something like this, which I mean those are songs that are pretty interesting, like for instance, uh what was it? I can't really top it, but like, like I said, they just there's some songs Okay, so without further ado, let's basically get these bootleg CDs. Yeah. I have stack of stack of bootlegs, yes. These are all of my bootleg CDs I actually burned. And for some reason I, I, I usually try not to uh steal copies of basic uh, other of their of artists uh, albums, but usually people do that every other day. I mean we I mean now we have uh, what should we call it? MP3 players, you know, like iPods and all that stuff. But personally, I love CDs, and I'd like to have 